And our first alert update here at 6 6 Mitchell baseball players will not face any jail time for their roles in a rape investigation. That ruling coming earlier today in Pennington County. This ends a case that has spanned for over a year now. Digital producer Donovan Miner standing by at the first alert now desk with a breakdown of this case. Donovan. Brian and Andrea, the case stems from an incident during a trip to Rapid City where the Mitchell Legion baseball team was supposed to play last year. In June of 2023, the Mitchell Baseball Association suspended the team's season due to an inquiry into possible player misconduct. But the following day, the association decided to terminate the season completely after hearing more details on the misconduct. And at that time, we also learned that the state's attorney general, Marty Jackley, was aware of the allegations. About a month later, more details began to surface. The Pennington County State's Attorney released a statement confirming the allegations surrounding the incident included sexual assault. In August of 2023, six players were indicted on second-degree rape and aiding and abetting charges. Those charges were the result of an investigation by the state's Division of Criminal Investigation. And as the year progressed, all six players agreed to plea deals from the state, pleading guilty to accessory to a felony charges. Today in court, the judge ruled that all six must do 500 hours of community service and pay a $1,300 fine. Each player was also sentenced to three years probation. The prosecuting attorney hopes this case is a wake-up call to other sports teams. I am happy with how this ended because these boys will have the ability to make something of themselves. They will have the ability to move on from mistakes made as teenagers. The family was honored with their wishes um, of allowing these boys the opportunity to make something of it. The victim can now, victims can have some closure in this as it moves on. And we did bring to light a lot of bad acts that can now be addressed in the Mitchell community and hopefully in sports communities around the state. If this is happening anywhere else, this was a big warning shot to them. Now, as part of the proceeding today in court, a portion of the assault was shown to those present. The head coach and a board member were also charged with failure to report, abuse, or neglect. But those charges were dismissed back in April. Live from the First Alert Now desk, Donovan Miner, Dakota News Now. Donovan, thank you.